what is the force A that is being exerted on the tooth? So here in this image, we can see that this is the force A that is being applied onto the buccal surfaces of the crown of this tooth. Okay, And we have been asked to identify the type of tooth movement that will be expected with this type of force. That is whether it is tipping, rotation, talking or bodily movement. Now, what we can appreciate from this uh, figure is that this force is being applied away from the center of resistance. Okay, that is number one. Number two, what we can identify is that this force is a single force. Okay, so there's a single force that is acting away from the center of resistance. Now, whenever there's going to be a situation where a single force is acting on the tooth away from the center of resistance, the tooth is going to undergo something known as a moment or it is going to experience something known as a moment. Now, moment is nothing but the force that is applied onto the tooth and the, uh, into the distance of the force from the center of resistance. Now, the center of resistance of a tooth is a point where if the force is being applied through it, it is going to bring about bodily movement. Right, But here the force is not passing through the center of resistance, it's passing away from the center of resistance. So now what the tooth is going to experience is a rotational tendency. Okay, So here what the tooth will experience is that the crown is going to rotate uh, lingually and the root is going to rotate buccally. Okay? So this is going to bring about a tipping kind of movement. Okay, and this can be appreciated by the fact that this loading diagram here, okay, that is marked as red and blue, it tells us that these are the areas which are going to experience tension and these are the areas which are going to feel compression. That means this is moving in this direction, the root is moving in this direction, that is why this area is getting compressed. This crown is moving in this direction, that is lingually, that is why this lingual area is being compressed. So this is the loading diagram which tells us how the PDL is being loaded when the force is being applied onto it. Okay. Now this rotational tendency is occurring because like I said this force is acting away from the center of resistance. So there is going to be a rotational as well as a displacement tendency. This rotation takes place in the uh, labiolingual direction that is why it is the tipping uh, type of uh, tooth movement that is going to be seen. Okay. So this is what the loading diagram looks like of uh, a tooth which is undergoing tipping movement. So here you can see there is a single force that is being applied away from the center of resistance. So these two triangles are the, uh, the areas which are getting loaded. Okay. So heavy pressure will be felt at the apex of the root here which is going to tilt uh, uh, or going to move labially and at the crest of the alveolar bone on the lingual side because this is what is these two areas are the ones that is going to uh, be touching and going to get compressed. So these are the areas of compression. Okay, now the loading diagram has uh, for a tipping type of movement has two triangles. So only half the area of the PDL is being used. Now since very heavy pressures are going to be felt on these two points, it is suggested that we keep the tipping forces to a minimum. Okay, because tipping is anyway the simplest type of tooth movement that is seen. You apply any amount of force on the crown, okay, a single point of force on the crown, it is going to bring about tipping. So since these are the areas that are going to undergo areas uh, of compression or they are the ones that are going to uh, have to withstand the forces maximum, it is advised to keep the tipping forces under 50 grams. Okay, so this is important, they could ask you this in the examination. So this is when tipping takes place. Okay, this is the kind of uh, loading diagram you will see when there is bodily movement taking place. So when there is bodily movement, it means the entire tooth is being moved. Okay, so here you see the force that is being applied, it is not a single force, but there is some amount of talking also that is being given. So there are two types of forces which are being applied on the tooth, which is going to bring about the translation. Because as you know, in orthodontics, it is not po possible to pass the force through the center of resistance. So in order to overcome this limitation, talking movement is given uh, within the wire so that uh, the movement of force increases and translation type of movement takes place okay so here the entire since the entire tooth moves uniformly we will see there's a uniform loading that is taking place in the pdl area another type of tooth movement that we can see is when the force is concentrated at the tip okay so this is when we see intrusion or extrusion type of tooth movement. So the entire force gets concentrated on one point that is over the area of the apex. And this is another reason why intrusion and extrusion forces need to be extremely light. 
because here you can see that no other area on the tooth or no other pedial area is being compressed or stretched or is under withstanding the forces it is only the apex and since this is a very small area that needs to withstand the amount of force that is being applied it the forces need to be low so this is what the various types of loading diagrams look like for the various types of tooth movement which are brought about by different type of forces acting upon it. So on the basis of the force that is being applied and the loading diagram that is shown in this image, we can identify that the type of tooth movement this force is going to bring about is going to be tipping movement.